Okay, and I'm fishing here today. We're going to show you how to turn this to this into a completed popper. So the first thing that we are going to do here is just going to start to cut away, especially at the corners of the wood. A trick to getting the it whittled down quickly is to try to keep it at square edges and then just trim off the very corners of those edges, make it a square, trim off the corner. So the basic shape is completely done. Got the top, tail, everything. But it's not a popper. So we need a knife that has a curve like this and you're gonna end up scooping it out. Scoop it out. Taking the face of the knife to the top of that lure, moving it back and forth, and it very quickly starts to make a hole. The final step to making the body of the popper is to get sandpaper. This is grit 60, and to just try to sand it out. Now our popper is sanded, has a mouth, and its body's completely finished. Alright guys, next step to making our popper is taking an ice pick to the top of the lure, and you just want to make a pretty deep hole in there, like that. So with that hole, you, we're going to take our pliers and a screw eye, and we just want to squeeze that eye closed, like that. And then we need to screw the eye into the lure. So just twist it till it gets tight. And then once it's tight, you're going to want to put something like the end of this or a nail into here. And then just twist the lure. Just keep twisting. And that's where your line's going to get attached to the hook. And then there you go. You're ready to tie your line on. For the back hook here, we're going to... Take our ice pick and our lure and just gonna try to make a hole right on that end. Right on the edge and there. Then we're gonna take our screw eye, make sure it's still open this time. And we're gonna try to screw it in there. Just like that. And then again, take the thing, wedge it in here. Make it easier to twist. Okay, now that it's like this, I'm going to take a hook with a split ring attached, just like this. I'm going to put this into the open screw eye like that, and then we squeeze it closed. Squeeze it closed here. Come on. There it is. One hook on. Okay, for this middle front hook, do the same, the same thing, poke our hole right there, take our screw eye, twist it around. Now you can also use a hook hanger here, like we did in a spook video that will show how to make a spook. That will also show you, take anything like this, like a screwdriver works, really doesn't matter. Twist this around, Just keep getting it tighter and tighter. And same thing, we're going to put a hook on it. It's not required to have the split ring. So for this example here, we're going to just put that on. Squeeze it tight. There we have popper hooked up. All it needs to be is painted, and then it's ready to get on the water. Okay, guys, how we're going to paint these is using an airbrush. Uh, okay, so we're going to take our airbrush, and we're going to... Spray thin layer of paint over our lure. Give it a tiny bit color. Okay, 
So now I have this nice basic green color, but we're going to go ahead and spice it up. We're going to take some purple and add some dots to it, I think, here. So here I'm going to paint it the back to the top of the lure with a little bit of a darker shade of dark green, brownish color to differentiate the top, bottom, middle here. Let's get that darker green up top. There we have a dark top. Now I'm going to add little dots of this purplish color just to round it, give it a pattern. Just kind of every once in a while, just give it a little spot. Give it a nice little cool pattern. There we go, popper all painted. Boom. Guys, we are on the final step of turning this popper into a working lure. So I'm opening a can of polyurethane. That's going to be the clear coat that goes on it. Keep it waterproof. Take a flathead screwdriver, wedge this up. This, get it all around. Like that. Comes off. Paintbrush. Dip it in. And then just wipe it down on all the surfaces here. Yeah, I get everywhere coated in that clear coat. That didn't take long at all. Just like that, should be glossy. Hang it back up to dry. Okay, I lied. That was not the last step. We need to put eyes on it. So, taking our eye on that wet and polyurethane surface, just placing it on. If it doesn't stick, we're gonna need to use wood glue. So, stuck there and do it for the other side. Back on while I grab another eye. There's one. There we go. That popper is completed with the eyes ready for the line. I can fish with that right now if I wanted once that popper turned to eyes. Let's go. This is KNA Fishing here. How to make a popper. Make sure to like and subscribe.